The following the fo is a presentation of TFNN. Time to talk about your health. Living a primal lifestyle. Yeah, we have Tom on, from Tampa on the phone. Hey, Tom. Good morning. It's bright and early now, huh? Hey, thanks. Good. Hi, Tom. How you guys doing? Nico? Doing great. Good. Hey, uh, your newsletter is outstanding, man. I'm, I'm telling you, man, it is outstanding. And so is the Burnham Ledge. I love that stuff. I'd never be without it. I mean, I've been on it now three, four months, man. I mean, it's just I can't get over how good I feel. Primal Ledge is, uh, you know, people are raving about it. People who are trying it, they know because you can feel it. We'd not be without it. Call now. Toll free at one 877 6648. Now your hosts, Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark. Good morning. I'm Nico DeHaan. Welcome to Living a Primal Lifestyle, where we explore a return to a more balanced and natural wild world. To recover our natural health and regain our rights and our freedoms. I'm Paige Clark. Good morning. Good morning. It's a beautiful day in downtown St. Petersburg. 69 degrees. The cold spell is coming on. Finally. We love those and cold spells. It's been a beautiful weekend. I mean, we had the house open. It was like all the pure air was coming yeah, in. Yeah, this is oh. why we live here. Hey, That's while you're at it, subscribe to our Health Signals newsletter. This is information to keep you healthy and high-performing. Yeah, we have uh, issue 21, uh, 22 coming out there later this week, but lots of stuff in there that we talked about the past couple of weeks with uh, uh, with you and then uh, with uh, Stephen. That was great. I loved seeing Stephen on while I was gone. That was He's wonderful. He's a great guy. And, right. uh, of course, Primal Edge, uh, one-shot wonder, over 310 cell-ready ingredients, liquid ingredients, so it's easy to take. Gets the good stuff in. And the bad stuff out. And, and if you are up and at it, give us a call in our studio at 877-927-6648. So I wanted to start today. We got a really good program, uh, but I wanted to start kind of with the weather because, of course, we got the cold coming in from the north now. And uh, they're not talking about global warming for at least a day or two. But I wanted to <laughs> well, get a little reprieve. Yeah. <laughs> but back in uh, March 7th, 2006, the National Science Foundation issued a press release predicting that the uh, amplitude of the solar cycle 24, which is this last solar cycle, would be 30 to 50 percent stronger than cycle 23. But that didn't really happen. What happened, if you look at the chart here, is actually about 50 percent lower. This is 25 right here. Mm-hmm. And so this is part of the prediction that uh, 25 is going to be a lot uh, shallower. So we're diving a little bit deeper into it. Again, let's, for people that maybe don't always follow this, the solar cycle is showing less solar activity, which means more weather change, but actually predictive of a uh, solar, I mean, of a grand solar minimum, a cooling kind of. as this opposed is, to the heat. Yeah, and th this is the solar cycles of the sun. They have two of them. One is the north. Mm -hmm. And the other one is the South Hemisphere. Correct. Each is a little different. So 20, this is 24, about 50% less than 23. And now we're, they're predicting 25 to be even lower than that. If that comes true, then you can see where we're at when we look at the modern, modern minimum, named after the modders, a husband and wife. Team. Monder, because Monder. if you say modern, people think you're saying yeah, the word well, modern. But it, Monder was an actual yeah, time period of 1650 to 1700. Right. Now, isn't this very interesting? I wanted, I was just listening to a podcast on our way. Let okay. me interject. Mm -hmm. And Deborah Chaveras, who's been following all the uh, California fires, she lives in Santa Rosa, mm -hmm. and you know what's really going on with all of that. And she mentioned that uh, a lot of the researchers that are tied to this are saying that we need to go back to a lifestyle of the 1650s to 1700s. This is literally, hmm, you know, wow. so that we can survive before we had all of our technology because we're burning up the planet. Mm -hmm. So what are they saying? They're actually forecasting well, that, we course, need, think, that we're going to be going back to that kind of a yeah. time frame. Well, if you look uh, at what the scientists are talking about behind the scene, mm -hmm. uh, of course, I would assume they know that. It's the same with the catastrophe cycle that Ben Davidson talks about. You know, this was brought in by the CIA. So they know there's no they know there's tragedies that go on and they know definitely know these solar cycles because they're counting them. Well and, and this is information from NASA. Yeah. This is from uh, you know Well, the I, observatory. I don't know if I believe that, but you know, because <laughs> Well, they're the ones but, who put the satellites up there but, and they're the ones who are counting the spots. Are you watching any of the Tartarian stuff or the um, mudslide or the the grand yeah. reset stuff? Mm -hmm. It all goes back to if you if you read our Wikipedia, which is a lot of created stuff anyways, you gotta right. do it kind of carefully. Mm -hmm. But like I mean Google. Yeah, Google, exactly. You can go back and forth and they're gonna show you what they want us to see and what yeah. they want us to believe. But they always talk about something happened. There were fires, fires. Napoleon invaded 
this part of Russia, and it was destroyed by fire. Things were coming from the air. Laser-like bullets were coming from the air, and things were fire that people had never seen, 1700s. Right. And you and I were talking before the show. And this is what happens during these solar minimums. Grand Even, solar minimums, there's yeah. cosmic rays that escape and fires, and we've got the technology that can create a more combustible situation. Well, that's true, too. Yeah. But, yeah, there's no doubt. Those smart meters definitely uh, can be, be ex in, exploded. Mm, it's crazy. Uh, so you've got a little bit more here. These are the, uh, I think, the KP index. X. You know, anyway, w what I wanted to say is just basically that we're heading towards more of a modern minimum, they think. Right, and a modern may... minimum that's going to be like the Maunder. <laughs> yeah, ma ma yeah, modern, modern, whatever it is. And, and again, Nico, <laughs> in a nutshell for, nutshell for people, what does that mean? In the Maunder minimum, what was happening? If you were back in 1650 and 70, The Thames 15, River froze. The Thames yeah. River froze. Okay, in uh, Texas, they had a couple of years without summers. And wasn't there ice all the way down from Canada and mm -hmm. part of the United States was yeah. under an ice sheet? Mm -hmm. Well, not the sheet. That was, uh, that was more of the big ice age, but they oh. certainly had bad weather. You know, there's so little information from here because during that 1600 period, we just arrived. And people were just honing their primitive self out of the out of the jungle well, on this contest and then the Europeans were coming in and they were just trying to survive too it was a very very tough time except when you look at all the buildings that were already here when we arrived well, sure. so no we really wonder what was really going on yeah well, we think that there's probably maybe a hundred million people living here before the white man came that's a hundred million. We've got three hundred well, million now. Look at all the, the, the That's fabulous a lot of buildings, and then we tell, we say we were going in a, you know, a wheel, a wheeled, you know, little covered wagon. There was already some stuff going on. There was a, a grand stuff. reset. Yeah. Something mysterious happened, okay, so and I other... think this weather is involved. Yeah, for sure. I agree. Okay, so the other thing was that, uh, of course, spotless days. That's true too. Now, here we have a paper for about the Arctic warming, and basically what it says without just reading the whole thing, it's a scientific paper, and they researched it and said, well, the stuff in the, Antarctic, uh, in the Arctic that they say is warming is kind of overblown. It's not really happening. So the Arctic naturally warms around Alaska and stuff when the sunspots come in mm -hmm. or when the sunspots go down. So it's a natural cycle here, but the well, Arctic who's going to verify it anyways? Is that well, like you and I? Or I'll that tell that you who verified go? it. It's the people that from the Greenpeace that went up there to try the show. Look, there's land here, and they get stuck in the ice. Right. And this has happened three years in a row. But That's there's so point. few people is what I'm saying. You yeah. get that, and then, but, but the, the forces that want to push the global warming agenda, mm -hmm. they just keep putting out stuff in the media because yeah. the media is fake so news. We, yeah. So we have another uh, thing here, which is another one. Uh, human beings lived in North America 130,000 years ago. I believe it. Uh, very important. Uh, now, they haven't proved this yet, but this is a, a piece of uh, bone, and it's from a mastodon dated 130,000 years ago, and there's marks on it that people were pulling uh, the flesh off of it. Mm -hmm. So pretty good indication that something was happening. The animals don't do this, but humans do that. Right. So I just wanted to say, you know, there's a lot of things that we don't know, but in the next segment, we're going to discover some things about our health that we do know, and that's kind of coming of age uh, type of thing where we're trying to expand our lifetimes. We want to be healthy, and there's a lot of stuff about that. So we're going to talk about that next. Yeah, let's Stick do around. it. We'll be right back. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. 
TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Directions Daily S&P 500 Bull and Bear Leveraged ETFs. Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Kaneko and I are talking about a lot about kind of what was going on to primal man, but also we have to look at future man and how we stay healthy yeah. and, and survive. And one of the things that you've been researching um, is a nutrient or supplement that's been heavily researched at Harvard and your tell us more. Coenzyme. Yeah. yeah, it's a coenzyme uh, of, um, that we essentially need to stay healthy, and our body makes it, and there's been other sources. It's along the line of the resveratrol, mm -hmm. and many of us have said, well, should we take resveratrol, or should we drink wine, or we'd have to drink 50 bottles of wine. Which is not a bad idea. <laughs> and to, over the year. To get yeah. enough, right. <laughs> but um, let's, let's kind of go into information about uh, NAD, and yeah. many people have heard of NAD+, plus, and, that, and we're going to go over a few reasons of why you might want to put it on your health radar, and Nico and Ellen have been uh, experimenting with it. You can share your personal experience, you know? Yeah, NAD+, plus, which stands for nicotinamide adenine denucleotide. It's a coenzyme, essential, you can't live without. Yeah, it's Works part in, of your cellular energy yeah, production. Yeah, and it keeps your cell healthy uh, and functioning so you can live a healthy and longer life. But the NAD levels decline with age. That's and, right. Uh, the NAD levels decline, uh, the health declines too. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Sinclair uh, has been working on this. Uh, he's a Harvard grad, top of his class, one of the great scientists we have in the United States. And one of the reasons <coughs> I kind of, usually I'm very cutting edge with everything on, on <coughs> longevity, longevical stuff, but everything that I would see about it was coming from one company, which is probably tied to the research, but is, I'm ready to take a, a closer look at it. This comes from that one company, uh, Elysium. Uh, Elysium Health. But, you know, you, but you, it's you, a, such a good explanation, and we're going to get into other articles that do similar things, Right. and then we're going to talk about the resveratrol uh, and also the precursors and, uh, M -N -M -N -N -R. Uh, MNR, okay, another yeah. acronym. That's another yeah. part of the coenzyme. <clears throat> yeah. um, it's actually, I'll tell you, let, let me give you a nutshell. You know, we can get NAD plus from things we eat, like milk and yeast and vegetables. Um, but it's basically NAD plus, which we need as we age, is made with two ingredients. And that's a form of vitamin B3 called nicotinamide robicide, or NR for short, and Terastilbean, a compound that also helps your cells stay healthy. So it's really a derivative of the niacin B vitamins, okay? Yeah, they claim a one-two punch of these ingredients will give you your body exactly what it needs to keep your NAD levels high. And we had talked this, about this maybe six or seven months ago, 
And I told you I was taking one of the precursors for that because the NAD itself wasn't available at the, the time. NAD plus. NAD plus wasn't okay. available at that. But let's go over some of these reasons. Ten reasons why you might want to <clears throat> pay attention. Yeah, NAD plus is the key to cellular energy. Do you think uh, you think of maybe uh, energy drinks or coffee? Or everyone who's abusing coffee, maybe they should be doing NAD plus. Yeah. That's that's beneficial cellular energy. Yeah, and what we're all yeah. trying to do is the ATP, which is the energy molecule that we want in our cells. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is the reason for it, and NAD uh, plus plays a real uh, role in creating So it is. That. It's a coenzyme that's part of the ATP production. Yeah, and it's the one that wakes it kind of uh, up. So the other thing is that it declines with age. Right, that's number two. And the body needs it, but it doesn't have an endless supply, yet. and the older we get, the less we produce. What's, what's new? So we found that supplementing uh, NAD plus um, has led to positive health outcomes and that's stuff we want to know yeah. number three you well, can just get wait more a minute. there, there mm -hmm. were two human studies that proved in, in 2012 in the human skin and then again in 2015 in a human brain that these findings were critical because they mirrored what we already knew happens in other animals because we weren't experimenting on us we were experimenting first on nematodes and then on mice and mm -hmm. other bacteria and things like that so it's important that animal studies have also shown that the boosting of the NAD plus levels led to positive health outcomes. So the animal data led scientists to apply the same name to humans. This kind of this is how it went. So really, what this tells me, uh, kind of go back. I go back to that book that I think is very transformative. Is T. S. Wiley's book, uh, Lights Out. I told you it's worth reading, whether okay. a man or female. That really, um, when hormones decline, and I'm going to say when enzymes decline, because right. I'm kind of an enzyme nutrition yeah. person. I studied at the Enzyme Food well, Enzyme that's what Institute. Carries everything, right? Enzymes are the power to do work. Right. And as we die, as we die, <laughs> as we get older, mm -hmm. which, uh, our production of endogenous enzymes decreases. And as we know, this is a coenzyme, meaning it's it's a cofactor mm. in enzyme production. So anytime these things decline. It's nature's way of taking us out. Yeah. And if we want to not get taken out, we look at ways to Yeah, and I think it's important this. for people to understand, too, in nature, uh, doesn't have a real need for us to go on after we reproduce. After we reproduce, yeah. Right. And with animals, they don't live that long after that. that. You know, they have babies, 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 and then a few years, and then they're gone. With human beings, we stop having babies, and then we live though, longer. Interesting, you know, women will get other things as nature takes them out, hormonal decline. Mm -hmm. Men will stay viral, viral mm -hmm. a little longer because they need to have something seeding the mm -hmm. young women, right? That's right. Uh, however, uh, sh that book that I was telling you that I love it, she says nature's way of taking out men is the insulin. You know, the men get the big belly. Wow. So the body still produces testosterone but slowly creates the heart disease hmm. with the insulin belly. But That's I know we got off track. Let's go back to this. How okay. can you get more of NAD plus? Yeah, Nico? you can boost the, the declining uh, levels of this uh, by the precursors, which are molecules that start one thing and then change chemically to become NAD plus. And there's two precursors. One is the uh, NMN. Okay. And NMM changes to the NR. Okay. Because NNMN is a large molecule. It can't go into our cells. Right. So it dissolves itself into NR and then goes into the cells and becomes NAD. So we assume when we take <clears throat> precursors that our body is going to know what to do with it. Mm -hmm. That's always, and that's why some people go, well, I'd rather just take the real stuff, but right. it's expensive. Yes. Or was, you know. Well, I'm wondering too, if, is there an advantage to taking the NAD plus and then the NR and then the NMN too? Maybe all three and make sure you have yourself covered and then add the resveratrol later on. And some people might say, why don't you just take cheap niacin? Yeah, well, you know? these are all parts of niacin, definitely, yes. However, but, you know, just so you know, we're talking about this. You know, Time magazine profiled it in the longevity issue. Yeah. And uh, it went fully mainstream in 2018. There was a big push, and I was concerned that it was kind of a marketing thing, but mm -hmm. we'll see. Um, and it was in this issue, and scientists have yet to discover a longevity elixir that stands up to medical scrutiny. Well, is that, is that the truth? Is it medical scrutiny, or they haven't found anything that they can kind of maybe patent or make money on? I don't know. Well, I, mean, I mean, I learned from my Qigong, mm -hmm. goji berries produce this stuff, and the Chinese uh, Qigong masters would live to be 200. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what's the answer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, next was NAD Plus has the attention of no bio. Laureates, yeah, yeah Nobel so. Prize, uh, Nobel Prize levels 
And people I don't are looking that at it. Influences me at all, but uh, the NAD supports the circadian rhythm. There's something that I'm impressed with. That's important, right yeah, there. Yeah. So you, we have this 24-hour clock that runs and tells you when to wake up and when to go to sleep, and dictates a lot of how your hormones are dispensed in your body. And so, body temperature, metabolism, and hormones. Exactly. Everything. That's and this really works it. in conjunction with all of that, so mm -hmm. that makes sense. Yeah. The next one is that NAD makes a healthy DNA. That protects it, I guess. That's crucial. Remember, that's crucial. DNA is your blueprint. <clears throat> right. uh, you can have a great blueprint, but if you don't have the right raw materials, you're not going to build the right body. Yes. Think of your DNA as a strand of Christmas tree lights. And if the strand is tightly and neatly wound, then the lights all go up and you have a lower risk. But if, uh, of course, one of those bulbs is out and then... Slowly but surely, you got one ball. So, hit. it might be something you would look into. Nico will probably keep us posted on it, right? Definitely so. Right we'll back. Be right back. like to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of performance training since 1998 Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically as a certified personal trainer Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting the most out of their personal training sessions the performance training studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balance Balanced results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort. For more information, you can give Nico a call at 727 418 8740 or email him at nico at tfnn.com. Let him know you heard him on TFNN and save up to $100 on a special package just for TFNN listeners. Act today. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. The show. So I have another one here from uh, Bulletproof, uh, and he's got an article, Is NAD Plus the Anti-Aging Miracle Pill? And here's what science says, and a lot of it's a repeat of it. But there is a section here about the levels of NAD and aging. Does your cells use NAD to make serotonin proteins work? Proteins that regular, uh, regulate... That not serotonin, I just want to preface this. It's uh, sirtuin. 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 Yes. And sirtuin are longevity compounds that help repair the telomeres. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, serotonin. Sorry about that. No, I just want, Pro you know, because serotonin is yeah. something, too. Uh, proteins that regulate the biological pathways call serotonin protect the cells from the age-related uh, right. decline. 
uh, serotonins play a critical role in maintaining the length of those temenors, just like they said. Mm -hmm. But why I uh, wanted this uh, to go over this is they have some recommendations here. In case and you want to get started. Uh, yeah, and uh, you don't want to put uh, up with the problems that come from these drops that they have. It says here's some ways to boost your levels. Take NAD supplements. NAD comes in capsule forms and easy to find. Mm -hmm. That one brand. Uh, you said it's kind of pricey, basis. though, right? It's about fifty bucks a month per mm -hmm. person. So mm -hmm. yeah, I, I would say it's pricey. But I mean, the Primal Edge is still like uh, eighty-nine dollars. Of course, that's got so much more in it. Right. This but, is yeah. one nutrient. But, the, you know, hey. the other recommendation is follow a high fat and low uh, carb diet. Uh, being in ketosis, the state where your body uses fat instead of glucose for energy, increases the N. AD plus to NADH. Uh, you want higher uh, amounts of the NAD plus because it protects the cells from oxidative stress. An imbalance between the free radicals and the antioxidant in your body contributes to the aging. Well, now, they also talk about doing the intermittent fasting, you know? Yeah. Um, and the reason for this is when Dr. Sinclair was talking about this, they've identified that this gene, this longevity gene, which is a combination of all these things, uh, depends on the length of time between eating. This is when it's activated. So the longer you stretch out the eating, uh, the space between the eating, the more of the NAD is, NAD plus is produced in your body. And that body. makes total sense to me. Um, that's when we kick into our repair mode. Exactly. The body, it, that's the whole concept of autophagy. Right. Or eating ourselves. Exactly. Our body says, hey, I don't have to digest any food. I, she's right. not putting stuff down the tank. Right. I can work on repairing her skin. Yeah, I can fix the eyes. Yeah, so what Sinclair and all these doctors were talking about in this uh, podcast I was listening to was that most of these guys now are eating once a day, maybe twice a day, and they're, they're really trying to stretch that out. And they really don't say, uh, Sinclair came out really and said, it's more important than the food you're eating. And what they do when they eat once a day, though, is they feast. Yeah. They get their whole caloric. He says it's a two-hour period. Yeah, where they're, they're getting almost all their calories for yeah. the day. And yeah, if yeah. you're eating nutrient-dense foods, some fats, and I think it really doesn't matter what you kind of, you know, just well, eat healthy Well, that's kind of what food. he says. Yeah, yeah eat, eating healthy food naturally. Well, you can't eat crap and then expect the results. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't really matter if you're eating vegetables or, or if you're eating. And I, I follow this couple in Vancouver Island that just bought like eight acres there. And they're vegetarians. He's the guy that would, I started spinning, staff spinning and stuff with. Uh -huh. And uh, he's been out there now for he's a, a year. He's a vegetarian? He's a vegetarian, yeah, and doing it really well. They, these people look really good. But if you look at how they're gathering food and what they're doing the food, I mean, they spend tons of time grazing, getting their food, and then preparing it by doing all the things and that we always... It. Cooking it cooking to break it, down all the cellulose. Yeah, and fermenting it and right. ca having mushrooms, all the essential things. Right. So they're doing it the right way in a subtropical place, which is, I think, more unusual. I think if you live there naturally, you would be eating more, more animals. But, but good Nico, for them. I'm, I'm really liking this. And um, they go on to talk about another supplement that helps it. But I, I don't really think we need to get into that. That's another supplement that they're marketing here. But... Um, Let's get back to that whole concept of the one meal a day, because I'm going to tell you, uh, you know, my daughter is more, she likes to work out and eat more frequently, mm -hmm. three to five times a day. I feel my best when I wake up in the morning. I do have my coffee, and I add a little bit of my cream. Mm -hmm. Okay, that kind of, you know, the bulletproof, however you might, I don't really do that much anymore. I, I don't know. I just don't, I don't feel like I need it. Sure. I like my cream or butter in mm -hmm. there, and I whip it. I have no interest in eating. I could go all the way till dinner yeah. time, and then I like to have a big meal, and I seem to feel better. Than, maybe I'll have a lunch, um, but uh, I really think there's a lot to decreasing well, the stress. I think it makes sense that our ancestors probably had one feast. They didn't have time to sit around and eat all day. Well, it's not that so much. I think they had more time than you think, because if you're a hunter and gatherer, you've got some time. You've got that afternoon siesta time. Uh, what you do have is time to really bond with the people around yeah. you and build your shelter and a commune, mm -hmm. uh, something that's lost in our modern world because we spread everything out. We want people to move away when you're, you're you know, we want your children, you know, seen by people you don't know. And we want education to take yeah, you away is. from the house. And we want your job to take you away from your family. This, that's the way our society is built, intentional or not. It doesn't make any difference. It's happening. If we tried to really 
uh, sit down with a, a more primitive person or people living in a traditional culture, they'd probably roll their eyes at the way we live our life, wouldn't yeah, they? I'm rolling them all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I think you're right. So we've got a few more articles here that pertain to this, and... Um, Let's talk about the risk of aerotol. Well, the reason I like this article um, as it relates to this whole conversation about the NAD plus, is it a fad, is it the future of longevity, kind of comes back to uh, many of us have known that resveratrol has, uh, up until this point, been the golden girl of anti-aging. Well, this is something that my wife and I started taking about 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And then when you introduced me to uh, the fermented form, mm -hmm. And we started taking that. So it's important because now they're saying that resveratrol works hand in hand with the NAD and actually enhances it uh, maybe 10 times. Well, resveratrol. Or more. Oh, really? 10 Res times? So yeah. do the NAD plus and then do the fermented resveratrol, and you're really giving it a one you're giving two. Giving a boost. And, and let's go back to it. The resveratrol that would be needed in wine would. would not be realistic. As much you know. as I try, it's not enough. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, um, you know, another thing about resveratrol is it actually does a lot for glucose and insulin signaling. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think, again, yeah. what did we talk about, the NAD plus and having one meal a day? It's regulating that insulin spike by, by doing that. So it's interesting. Yeah, recent, uh, recent research suggests that it may be possible to reverse mitochondrial decay with dietary supplements that increase cellular level of a molecule called NAD. There we go. But caution is due. While there's promises of testing data, to test tube data in animal research regarding the NAD boost, there's no clinical trials in humans have been published. So that's the whole point you're, you said today. Yes. They had promising animal studies, but nothing really... Well, not only animal studies, because I think that's kind of wrong, because they took it down to the cellular level. Remember, they first did it with nematodes, mm. and nematodes only live a few minutes. Mm -hmm. So you can tell when that, you know, uh, produces a 30% increase really easy. Mm -hmm. Then they started doing it in mice. It, it, it makes more sense to me that they're doing it on a, on a level of the cell, and it doesn't really matter. If you're doing it with a mammal, I think the cell works. I want to say this, though, mm -hmm. because, you know, I like my raw milk. It says... As we know, NAD is a linchpin of longevity, and the supplements that contain NAD or NR, a precursor to NAD, that's found in trace amounts in milk. See, mm -hmm. milk is always vilified, but milk is a superfood. Yeah. If it's, it's what we do to the milk when we pasteurize it yeah. and leave all those dead bacteria in it and then serve it up in well, a Well, make sure food. that your child is getting all the stuff mm -hmm. it needs for that, that first two years of life. Yep. It's getting pumped full of this and all the other things that are go along mm -hmm. with it. So I think it's an important thing. Okay. I like the subject. We'll be back. Take a break. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom 
Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. So we're kind of giving you a little overview of NAD+, Plus, a longevity supplement that's natural, and a lot of companies that produce it. And we, we discussed the fact that the NAD+, Plus helps to produce more sirtuins, which is a compound that, a protein that repairs the telomeres, the tips of the shoelaces of our DNA and keeps us young and um, keeps our mitochondria healthy. And when they did that paper, the group out of Harvard, mm -hmm. you know, they showed the way that NAD and sirtuins work together and that they discovered the cells send messages to the mitochondria and it helps us keep normal operation. Yeah, it's the SIRT, which is a part of the uh, serotonin. Sirtuins. Uh, sirtuin, excuse mm -hmm. me, helps ensure that the signal gets through. When the NAD levels drop, as they do with aging, the SIRT activity falls off, which in turn makes crucial signals fade, leading to the mitochondrial dysfunction and the ill effects that go along with it. But there's that thing you were telling me during the break. Um, you know, NAD boosters might work synergistically with supplements like resveratrol, which has always been the longevical elixir, mm -hmm. to help re reinvigorate mitochondria and ward off the diseases of aging. And, you know, that one company that's kind of backed by Sinclair for all right. the research says he's banking on this potential synergy because uh, they have created a supplement that combines the NR with the resveratrol-like substance. And, and the taro still beans, it's, it's taro still beans. It's actually found in blueberries and grapes. Right. And again, those dark purple, dark right. colored things, which is very interesting. Yeah, so it says here, while uh, resveratrol has hogged all the anti-aging spotlights over the past uh, decade, uh, scientists, researchers in places like Oxford, uh, Mississippi have shown that the uh, terrestrial beans terrestrial beans is a kind of extra potent version of resveratrol so that's the kind of distilled version of it in this a sense. is very interesting nico because i think i mentioned to it i need to follow it up there's a company that's doing a lot of research mm -hmm. on this and they have they have a, a very cost effective terrestrial bean something they've actually wanted us to Talk oh, about it. So cool. we'll get back on that. Yeah, well, what this does, it makes the uh, compounds bioavailable, uh, bio kind of like the humic and fulvic acid of mm -hmm. the primal edge does to us. So it tells the cells, wake up, accept this, and you're going to be fine. So test tube and rodent studies also suggest that this is more potent than resveratrol when it comes to improving br brain function and warding off various kinds of cancer. That's and, an exciting. Yeah. Yeah, so really... How excited should we be about this if we're kind of like a middle-aged mouse? <laughs> you know? says, you'd well, be ready to spend some nickels and dimes uh, to try this in our um, supplement, either precursor to NAD. Um, well, it says here that mice on a high-fat diet gain 60% less weight than they did at the same diets without the ENR. 
Mm -hmm. So when you use this precursor, then you're going to, the weight drops off. And that might be great for some of us that have been on, you know, you know, we've talked a little bit about a lot of women, particularly those with thyroid dysfunction, don't actually get their weight down when they're doing primal and keto. They're just not able to use that energy. This might be a missing, missing secret bullet. Very possibly. And this yeah. is kind of why I think when you uh, get more into the car carnivore type of diet, like I was always 174 all through my jiu-jitsu life. And lately, I, I went down to 168, now I'm about 166, and I feel better and better. It's just I've lost all the fat from mm -hmm. eating fat and, that, and, and mm -hmm. animal And that protein. works for you, it but really for, me, for me, it really yeah. doesn't work. Well, I mean, I, mean, I, I think other things probably work for me, too. This is just mm -hmm. a nice balance for me, so it right. works really well. What I want to do now is go to the next article that talks about the NMN and the NA, uh, NR, which are the precursors. Because some people might say, okay, I don't want to take the actual substance. I'd rather take the precursors and let my body figure out how to make it. Well, they just started uh, promoting the NAD by itself because they didn't know really how to make it. But I guess there's a new one on the block, sort of. But I'm thinking that, well, the, the way it kind of works is that the NMN is a larger molecule that transforms into well, most the NR. most precursors are always that. Pregnanolone is mm. a precursor hormone, the grandmother hormone, mm. and from pregnanolone we make all the sex hormones: mm. testosterone, estrogen, right. progesterone. And they, those are the ones that and go then in they the cell. So that's what's happening here. The mm -hmm. NMN, for short, uh, is a precursor for NAD, but it's too large, so it changes itself to the NR. Now, my question to you during the break was: you know, I'm taking the NNM and have been for maybe six or seven months, along with the resveratrol. Mm -hmm. Now, should we be taking all these things, the NR and the NAD? I don't know. You know, and this is an interesting question. Which one do you take? And, you know, I invite everybody to do their own research on it and then decide what it, what it is. But all three of them have that benefit. I'm wondering if it's worth your while, if you can afford it. Uh, the uh, first one, the NMN, is relatively inexpensive. You can find it for $20, $30. The NR, very similar. The NAD, a little bit more expensive. So basically, as you go from the precursor to more the targeted mm -hmm. uh, coenzyme, right. uh, it seems to be uh, less money. But the question is, when you give someone a precursor, you're assuming the body's going to do and that all the other ingredients that are needed to take that precursor. For example, let me use an example. Um, you know, in order to make thyroid, mm -hmm. yeah. It's made from cholesterol. It's a hormone. All hormones. Actually, cholesterol is the master yeah, substance. Exactly. Then pregnenolone. Then the other hormones. And you wonder why people in the United States who are on the statins and things like that. It's crazy. Yeah. Okay. But, but for example, if you don't have enough vitamin A, and I'm not talking about beta carotene from carrots. Mm -hmm. If you don't get retinol, mm -hmm. fat-soluble vitamin A, you're not going to be able to make the... And if you don't have enough progesterone you're not going to be able to make the thyroid hormone. Mm -hmm. And regardless of whether or not you know, yeah. you know, and that's the issue. Um, so if you can afford it, a lot of people might say to take the whole coenzyme. Um, yeah, you and know. that's a, kind of Sinclair was leaning towards that, but he says now they have the basis of the NAD+, plus, which works quite well too. So I'm thinking why not uh, experiment around a little bit and uh, take one for a while, take another one for a while, maybe the third one for a while and see what happens. Uh, you know, I don't know. I think as we go along, we're going to get much and more information about this and what well, exactly Well, this is it what does. it says. At the end of the day, what we know is that when compared to other precursors, NR is the most efficient of the bunch. Okay, mm -hmm. so there's your question right. there. NR is more efficient than, I guess, NM, NMA. Yeah, because the, it has to be NR to go in the cell. Yeah, the latest research on NM. N could prime it to be the next great vitamin B3, but for now, more research in humans is needed to better understand how beneficial it could be and how it might stack up against NR. One possibility is that each precursor could provide varying benefits depending on the target, especially if transporters, like the recently discovered one in the gut, are only available in specific cells of the body. So, for now, lots of unknowns, but it does sound like... Um, since the majority of our aging diseases are actually mitochondrial, and mitochondrial uh, diseases are greatly impacted not so much by the genes but by our environment and our circadian rhythm, yeah. the, it appears that some of these uh, nutrients and their cofactors and what comes about by their interaction can greatly help us 
maintain a healthier metabolic profile. Yeah, and I'm just wondering if there's a difficulty in one compound going to the next compound and whether it's NMN goes to NR, is there some problem there that maybe that doesn't happen? So these Time will see. Well, yeah. you'll have to keep us posted and we'll keep, uh, keep up to date yeah. on, on all we'll right the longevity stuff. Be Stick back. Around, I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates to my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! TFNN has put together the best lineup of live content for traders by traders every market day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected minds in the business. TFNN broadcasts five days a week live from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Eastern Time. We have live programming every market day during market hours. Every morning, Larry Pesavento kicks off the trading day live at 9 a.m. and breaks down the opening bell with Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom and Tommy O'Brien host the TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour, followed at 11 a.m. by the team at TD Ameritrade and Thinkorswim with Fast Market. Basil Chapman hosts the Tiger Technicians Hour at noon, Steve Rhodes at 1 p.m. with the Trader's Edge, Dave White at 2 p.m. with the Power Trading Hour, and Tom O'Brien anchors the daily lineup from 3 till 5 as host of the Tom O'Brien Show. Tune in to TFNN's Tiger TV on your computer or mobile device, and you can always find us streaming on YouTube. TFNN.com, educating investors. And welcome back. I just wanted to end on a lighter note. Well, because, uh... kind of a... <laughs> well, you know, I believe, like I made the comment, that much of the media is social conditioning for things yet to come. Mm -hmm. It's a foreshadowing. So what what, what are they telling well, us? Well, here one, uh, uh, lab-grown meat is coming, whether you like it or not. A whole article on that. I'm going to throw yeah, this, of course, yeah. in the uh, health signals. Now, remember, guys, if we have a grand solar minimum and the powers that be know that's coming, would they not want to foreshadow that we might be really having food scarcities and yeah. make things that are not normal, like maggots, Here's one by being Fox. added to your sausage? Yeah, by Fox News, New York Post, uh, added to your sausage. It's, it's good, a good alternative. Swedish behavior scientists is just eating humans to save the planet. Yeah, that's, that's kind of a nutty one. Yeah. Um, now, folks, this one. is in the media, and, and the media is really designed to create social thinking. It's, There's um, another one here, of course. The food system is collapsing now. This is, comes from Australia. Uh, Ice Age Farmer. I'm more likely yeah. to believe him than Yeah, he, he's a great guy to watch. Uh, there's a lot of things happening. Uh, Walnut, uh, Walmart is going to have uh, building crop polluting or Co pollinating. pollinating. Robot bees. Yeah. And they're going to create artificial bees to pollinate. Yeah. 
and the salmon hatchery to raise the nation's first genetically modified animals. Uh, these are the salmon that they have in Canada now. Mm. Of course, Bill Gates is hacking, uh, backing a quest to create a genetically modified super cow. Uh, what could be wrong they there? They can make more milk and, than European cows. Yeah, and then the scientists think that cockroach milk might be the next superfood. Now, I, oh my God, there's nothing worse than, than yeah, that you would think. But in a lab, maybe they're clean. And when you look back, uh, remember reading the the book Papillon, and Papillon. You mean the movie? The well, they had a movie, but before the okay, movie I never was read the book. The book but, well, the um, book is amazing and goes into this whole detail that Papillon never ate anything that they gave him. He ate. Right. He ate the worms and the cockroaches. Yeah, and that's, and that's how the, he survived. That's how he survived. I did love that movie. I forgot about that movie. Yeah. There was, I guess, two of them. Now, I never saw the modern version oh of it. Oh, my gosh. But the old i got to text was, myself to remember to put yeah, that on my uh, list. Yeah, you know, so a lot of things uh, go on that you think, well, this is kind of nutty, but maybe cockroaches aren't that nutty if they're clean, you know. But even Papillon survived eating it out of probably the worst conditions ever. So Let's hope that's not really what comes know. up. But yeah, you guys <laughs> that's for sure. Thanks for sticking around. We'll see you next week, folks. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.